Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a series on the show I'm kicking off called Album Anniversary. Uh, this is where I pick an album that came out uh, the 40 years ago as of the month, or maybe 30 years ago, I don't know, I'm sticking with the 80s for now, I may dip into some 90s stuff, may dip into some 70s stuff, but for the most part, Old Head's doing his 90s 30, uh, 30 years ago this month thing, I thought I'd do a similar thing, um, but I wanted to talk about like one album in particular, mainly because I wasn't around in the 80s, so I've got, I've not really got any personal stories to tell, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hype up an album, give, give it a good birthday party is what I'm, is what I'm saying. Uh, so with that, let's talk about Def Leppard's Pyromania. Pyromania is the third album by English rock band Def Leppard, released on the 20th of January 1983 through Vertigo Records in the UK and Europe and through Mercury Records in the US. This album is my personal favourite Def Leppard album and I'm going to tell you why. Pick this bad boy up and list off the track listing which funnily enough is actually in the wrong order uh, but uh, I'm going to list these off. Photograph. Look at this photograph! Nah, nah, we're not going there. <laughs> nah, but seriously, Photograph is a great song. I first heard it in GTA 5, um, and, you know, I'm showing my age here. That being said, Too Late for Love, Coming Under Fire, Foolin', Die Hard, The Hunter, Rock, Rock, Till You Drop, Billy's Got a Gun, Action Not Words, Stage Fright, and Rock of Ages. I mean, there is not a single song on this disc I don't love. And honestly, this is damn near a perfect 80s album for me, personally. This album is a transition from their like kind of new wave of British heavy metal roots into a more pop meets metal a AOR direction. It was produced by Mutt Langer, or Lange, Lange, I don't know, the iconic rock producer of the 80s era who was responsible for classics such as Highway to Hell and Back in Black by ACDC, as well as future Def Leppard records such as Hysteria and Adrenalize. This album actually features three, yes three, guitar players, Phil Collin, Steve Clark, and Pete Willis, but Pete Willis was fired during the album's production for his drinking problem. Pyromania was a massive success, so much so that it is a diamond record. That's not a surprise since during the summer of 1983, it shifted roughly 100,000 copies a week. Joe Elliott has gone on record saying, we wanted an album that sounded the way Steven Spielberg's movies looked regarding the album's production. It's not hard to see why, because it sounds great to this day. But, you know, what's my opinion on it? I'm usually quite a generous reviewer for the most part. However, don't let this take away from the fact that I'm giving this album a full-blown 10 out of 10. From start to finish, this shining slab of pop metal perfection is a joy to listen to from the moment the needle lands on the record to the very last groove. You can check out the Cranked and Ranked episode Old Head and I did on Def Leppard if you want my takes on all their releases. When was that? Let's have a quick look, because that, I, as far as I recall, that was quite an old episode. Cranked and Ranked. Def Effin Leopard. August 19th, 2020. Where the hell is my life going? Jesus. Anyway, I'm late for an orgy with a bunch of cougars around the back of Applebee's. Later, dude.